we are. Greetings, everybody. It is time for another game of Helmet Ball. As always, I am your favorite robotic companion and commentator, John Ham. Joining me today in the booth is someone I am excited to commentate with, someone I have never commentated with, but have only heard and or seen in old film and real. So welcome, Hank Dankley. Is this thing safe? Do you I don't have to do keep asking the, the intern if I'm do you safe. Have a, do I talk into the... Do you have a microphone? Should I be talking in... Do I use my microphone? Yes. Okay. It's... I, I am not your phone. I am not Siri. You don't speak, like, into me. You speak into your microphone, as, as always. Uh, and then my stuff is uh, just sort of broadcast internally through Wi-Fi. Remarkable. Well, Hank, I am very excited to, to work with you. You are a true blue professional and a true uh, legend of the helmet ball arena as Culberson gets immediately sacked. I'm very happy to be with you here today. Uh, are we sure this thing is... Okay, well, me. while you're trying to figure all of that out, uh, Donovan Culberson is in at quarterback as Nindy, the starting quarterback, is unfortunately out with a bout of the flu. Uh, should only be that. one game missed, but uh, could be enough to really turn the tide here for for Los Alamos. Uh, could could potentially be very dangerous for them. Well, it's that time of year. I have a feeling people are you know sort of accommodating for the fact that sickness has happened so hopefully hopefully no issue there yes and just to be certain that we are not spreading any germs everyone on the field is of course wearing a mask yeah the whole six feet apart thing is going to be a little difficult but uh they they're doing their best they uh they they are six feet apart in spirit and the ball has already been turned over to the new orleans horns as huff nelson takes his first pass of the day, and it's just a little too far out of bounds. There is a penalty on the field, though. Looks like a wrist hold. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it just feels like this year we're just we're having too many of them. And he says, it's okay, we don't like it, but try that first try one more time. I feel like there's got to be some compassion in terms of wrist holds, you know, people having been deprived of human touch for so long in the middle of this, this whole quarantine thing, so little leeway on the side of the referees there. Yes, we are very lucky, though, that Helmet Ball is somehow immune to this disease, and we are all happy to be here in the stands and in the fields and in the commentating booth just w one day at a time. Wanamaker, though, getting that second recorded pass of the day. And uh, let's see if the Horns can get another playoff before the end of the quarter. It doesn't look like they're going to... Oh, no, they do it. Wow, Huff Nelson... Barely gets the ball off to Peterson, but there is there it gosh, goes, another but penalty. He is down. Whoa! Apparently, there was a shoving match off on the sideline. That's very interesting. Oh, but it's okay. They're saying they're saying that they're just going to let it go, and that is the end of the first quarter. Wow! This game is really flying by. Truer words have never been spoken, Rick. Yes. Um, okay, I'm gonna. Make a little note to myself that perhaps senility is a factor for Hank Dankley. Who? Yes. Uh, well, Hank, let me let me ask you a question here, as this is my first time commentating with you. Go for um, it. Obviously, all the commentators are supposed to be completely free of bias, but I imagine that as someone who has been around the block for maybe a decade, you must have a team or two that you appreciate or that you feel that you are more inclined to root for. Well, um, <clears throat> I'd be going sort of against my professional ethics, but uh, I, have no, I have no dog in this game anymore, so I might as well. Uh, there are a few people on, on the horns this year that are actually Bedford natives. Uh, the uh, the uh, defensive end, uh, Gerard Crosby, is a Bedford native, and actually, uh, I, I was good friends with his father back in the day. Uh, so I'm I'm rooting for him individually. I'm not necessarily oh, putting Henry all Crosby. of my 
Yes, yes. I, yeah, I, Henry. I, he uh, 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 he he used to own a, a distillery in Bedford uh, that that made liquor out of bean sprouts, if you can believe it. Um, I cannot believe it because I guess my protocols don't have any information on alcohol making. It, as a robot, there's a lot of uh, spots of memory, I suppose, that are left empty for hellebot purposes. But I actually would be interested in knowing. Uh, a little bit more about this what what do you call it? alcohol yeah it's uh it's a liquid that makes things feel good until the very second it makes them feel bad uh, ah so much like gasoline very much like gasoline uh, i have i have plenty of experience using both recreationally and i got to tell you there's there's nothing quite like that. Tell you what, if you're if you're interested in looking up this guy's distillery, it's called uh, it's it's called Crosby Stills Mash and Mung. Cause he's uh, cause it's all bean sprouts. I see. Yes. Uh, that I mean that sounds. Hmm. I am not. Look at Kenton go there. Quite a. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I now you well, know I don't have a sense of taste, but I, I do I do need to ask is. Is bean paste um, good in alcohol? That sounds like it would potentially be not good. Well, it's definitely an acquired taste, uh, you know, sort sort of the way that gasoline might be. But you oh. know, if if you get the right bottle, it really it'll it'll really hit the spot. It's very earthy, very very uh, uh -oh. sort of tastes like dirt, but in a good way. Uh, now that is also a very confusing statement for me. I am not certain how dirt can taste good at any point. Speaking of eating dirt, Donovan Culberson, though, gets sacked and immediately eats dirt himself, but then immediately turns around and throws a nice reception to Matthews. But there is a penalty. What are they going to say? Whoa, they said he didn't wear his face mask for that play. That's not good. And, that would be uh, dangerous if this weren't helmet ball. Wow, it's gonna be that's gonna be a turnover. It looks like. Oh, I guess I I thought Matthews caught that ball, but I think in all the kerfuffle. No, I'm sorry. I I'm I'm very sorry. I I had that mistaken. I thought that that penalty was against the Adams. I must uh I must need to have my routines checked up on because Culberson. Uh, the person that I thought the thing was against was actually against one of the New Orleans horns. Interesting. Uh, please, please bear with me for one moment. I do need to download a, a quick update to my system. Processing. Processing. Oh, Lord, its eyes just went dark. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, Whoa. God, sorry. That was a large uh, data packet that I just had to download. And uh, my, uh, my sight uh, in the game should now be increased by 14.5%. That is fascinating. Yeah, you would really be surprised what you can actually upgrade on camera lenses. You would think that that's something that has to be hardware updated, but no, uh, actually software can really make a camera much better. It's good to know. Uh, now, oh boy, hang on. Oh, I really thought that that was going to end up going into the end zone there for a moment. Um, now, Hank, uh, yes, you, sir. you played back in college. I did. I played for the Bedford Dingbats under Ray Swissberger. That is absolutely correct. I'm glad that you're still with it enough to remember that. Now, can you tell me, um, how different is it for you to see these games uh, compared to the college games and the college rules and the college days where there were perhaps fewer penalties and perhaps also more injuries? Well, the injuries, uh, personally, I think that's just sort of baked into the game. You expect something like that. And, you know, the ethics of, of treating injuries has changed since I was, you know, since I was an active player. But as far as rules and penalties, etc. go, things are much more uh, letter of the law than spirit of the law. Now, uh, so you don't see as much experimentation on the field. Uh, you know, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Ray Swissberg, or one of the great avant-garde coaches of the game. And and I think <laughs> that era of, of helmet ball where we were absolutely just trying to break the rules um, may have led to some of the more uh, conservative um, elements of refereeing like we're seeing right now. Um, Yes, Hank. Hello? Hank? 
My yes. goodness. Hank, are you still with? Okay, there you go. Yeah, no, you're, you're good. You're still here. Someone. I seem to have misplaced my ink pen. Okay. Well, Hank is, uh, while Hank is looking for his pen, which, frankly, I'm not sure how that relates to what we've been Melanie. talking about. But, sorry, Hank, 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 yeah, that's, yes, that's my yes. charging port. That's, I wouldn't, um, oh. yeah, please, I wouldn't go looking through there. That's, uh. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, that's, uh, that's not a compartment. I thought that was my pager. No, that's not a compartment. That's a, a piece of me. Um. And speaking of a piece of me, a piece of me was really hoping that the horns were going to do something with that incredible drive that they had. And uh, all they managed to get was three points. And now Culberson, man, Culberson getting hit. Many, whoa, as again. I say it, Newberry gets Look the interception to end the second quarter. Wow. Donovan Culberson. First interception of the day, though. Not, I mean, you know, not necessarily to be not expected for a second string quarterback, but also... Not a good look. Coming in for your first game back and at the at the helm and immediately having some disappointment. I mean, he is still ranked 15th, so he's got some wiggle room in terms of rank. I suppose so. Uh, that's technically his number, but you know, we'll, we're gonna just go with that. And speaking of oh. going, we're gonna go to halftime. Welcome to the show. I heard that on a radio show one time, and I have decided to commandeer it. Here it is, the second half. Kraft gets the ball, gets all the way out to the 41, and we are back for a second half of Helmet Ball. Very exciting. Once again, John Hamm here in the booth, along with the perennial and legendary Hank Dankley. I'm actually a Sagittarius. Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? That was a solid joke, and I'm going to go ahead and write that one down. One moment. By yes. all means. Database updated. Uh, now, Hank, uh, you know, I, I would like to ask, uh, you know, I, during halftime, I noticed you were just sort of sitting in a corner, uh, talking to a wall, but not really necessarily saying much, just sort of mostly mumbling to yourself, uh, is everything all right? When was this? Uh, not even five minutes ago. Well, I was talking to my assistant, Melanie. There, uh, okay, well, Hank, I, not to alarm anyone, but you and I have been alone in this booth for the last 15 minutes. I find that difficult to believe. I told Melanie to go warm up the Cadillac when the game is over. Okay, well, hopefully that's exactly... Now, Melody? wait a minute. It, Melody or Melanie? I feel like I've heard both. And I think maybe we've lost Hank. Hello? Yes, hey, Hank, welcome back to the booth. Ah, it's wonderful to be here with you today. Okay, uh, this is, sure, yes. Uh, I feel like maybe we've progressed backwards. Uh, now, Hank. <coughs> the fumble there at the 10. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, Hank, uh, this little, there's a little container here on the booth counter uh, that does have your name on it. There are some small pills in there, uh, and it does say, for memory. Uh, have you taken these yet today? No, to be perfectly honest, I don't remember. Hmm. Well, that is a conundrum. Um, would it be safe to say that perhaps you have not? Probably. You know what? I'm gonna, you know, yeah, let's, let's rectify that now. Let me... Sure. Yeah, here, go ahead and have some of this smoke and cola that's been left over by, by, uh, Howard Johnson, no relation. Refreshing smoke and cola Nothing, nothing washes down your psychotics quite as well as a spicy, sweet, smoky smoke and cola That is what they say. And, um, how are you feeling now? I mean, I probably is not immediate acting, but... Immediately uh, more lucid and uh, all at once more aggravated, but therein lies the double-edged sword of, of old age. I, I see. Uh, now, with old age, do you feel as if you are 
becoming more um, appreciative of Helmet Ball, or you know, how how does the Helmet Ball feel to you over the ages? You know, as as I as I grow in years further and further away from from my career, I think uh, I can enjoy it more now. Rather than being such an analyst, I can be more of a spectator and and really just take in the entire culture of the game uh, and not just be so focused on the statistics and the the the, the rule book, and I can enjoy it. As an experience from start to finish, that's that's the way that I feel about it. Absolutely, and uh, I, I do want to point out that we did actually also just notice and witness a rare moment in helmet ball uh, broadcasting. We rarely get to see the ball warp across the field, um, and we we you know it's it's hard to sort of perceive the teleportation of the helmet ball. Uh, incredible, incredible to finally kind of catch that on camera. Uh, and have that for all of you here on this on this day. I mean, let me tell you, working with a professional such as yourself, Hank, and also getting to see that in action, it is just a day of of many firsts for me. Must be momentous for you. Uh, yeah, the Ooh, only other first, the Samson only other instance I can think of is there we are. The only other instance I can think of is there was a uh, there was a uh, 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 this was you know the Begford Dingbats. Uh, I can't say enough good things about the team, but there were several instances where we think there was some kind of time space wrinkle uh, somewhere around the twenty yard line, uh, and on occasion Whoa. players would just end up facing the other way on the other side of the field. That is a touchdown. That is a touchdown. Yes, exactly. And the extra point is also already up and good. Los Alamos Adams, for the first time today, ahead of the New Orleans Horns. Can New Orleans turn around and answer that with anything in the next three minutes? Well, we're going to find out. Wow, Kraft really... Quite the run. Wow. Look at this. An immediate response. I say it, and they do it. Kraft, look at you go. Kraft sees Julian one Kraft and Kraft was, raises one. Holy cow! The cornerback of five years, Julian Kraft, Kraft really has his all of his ducks in one basket this game. I'll tell you. That is, I mean, that was an art for Kraft, and what an incredible immediate response to the points that Los Alamos Adams have put up. And so now I suppose it is once again back on the Adams to make another drive. Putting more pressure on Donovan Culberson, of course, who has really, I mean, has been trying his best uh, in this game. But uh, its it's been a tough game for Donovan coming back into the fold, uh, you know, having not been a starting quarterback in quite a while. And having to sort of turn around and make something of himself. Wow, what an impressive 500 career pass, uh, pass receivings there uh, for Jimmy Hodges. Jimmy Hodges, 10 years, 500 receptions. That is an impressive amount of catches. And that's also a first down. Look at that. Hank? Hank? Hey, sorry. Um, uh, sorry and we're I... back. Uh, uh, um. mm -hmm. Take your time. Yeah. At the 35. Good? Yeah, and uh, wow, and Kraft, what? wow. Sorry, as I was trying to wake up my co-host here, Julian Kraft not only getting a touchdown today, not only getting an important tackle, but also getting an interception just now and giving the ball back to Huff Nelson and Huff Nelson passing it off to early Wanamaker. Wow, what a wild turn of events. Uh, Hank, how are you? how are you feeling? penalty called that will be a wrist hold against the horns okay well i guess you're feeling good then all right yes and the, the the timer is just really running down in the los alamos adams of course giving that uh giving that ball back to the horns is not helping them much and the horns are just going to it looks like they're going to keep running the ball to try to run the clock down force the los alamos adams into using up their timeouts well, you really, you really hit the nail out of the bag on that one. So let's see if uh, Wanamaker can't uh, do it. 
uh, well, who does? Early Wanamaker has a tendency to be a little hot and cold, playing some huge plays in one, one go, and then having some kind of, unfortunately, lackluster plays, much like that. Now, um, now, Hank, you're you're holding your heart there a little bit. It's fine. It happens all the time. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, I just say um, not to pry or to invade some privacy that I'm sure this next statement will have, but my sensors indicate that your heart rate has jumped up uh, 15 beats per per minute, and it is slowly starting to climb up. Uh, 15 oh is nothing. That's a Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Um, as long as you're sure. Ex excuse me. Uh, intern. Intern John. Uh, that's in. That's in. No, you don't need to worry about me. Just leave me on the stool. I'm 51% positive that it's not a big deal. Sure. Man, that's over half. Can, can you still get Melody or Melanie? I'm not sure which her name is. He says both. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, one minute left in the game. Now, Hank, I don't eat or drink, really, but, um, I, you know, just sort of as a sign of uh, solidarity or whatever you want to call it, uh, perhaps, um, after, well, this game probably would not be a good time uh, for you, it seems, uh, but maybe after another game sometime, we could, uh, I don't know, shoot the... Shoot the breeze, as I think humans say. Uh, sure, sure I, I have a euchre but... tournament at my place out in Bedford, uh, you know, once a week. So if you ever want to come over, please just uh, help yourself. The front door is always unlocked and more often than not completely open. Uh, I can certainly come and hang out. I do think that it might be uh, probably against the rules to have a robot play euchre. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can accidentally without really meaning to immediately analyze every situation and I don't think it would be a fair game. Well, I would just make it tougher for the rest of us. You've seen Star Trek data place poker all the time. That is a s actually fair assessment. I was about to say probably going to be offensive, but you know what? I am actually very much like data from Star Trek. A trademarked and copywritten material that is very possible that I am not allowed to mention on air. But so far, the FCC has not sent me a message. I'm waiting? No? That's it okay. Looks like I have friends on the okay. inside. If you're into any trouble, just let me know. Yeah, no, it looks like as if there's no penalty for that. I Perhaps, perhaps it is because they all wish for us to live long and prosper. And well, prospering tonight is the New Orleans Horns 13 to 10. What is your key takeaway on this game, Hank? At the end of the day, it really is, you know, you, you can never judge a book by the skin of your teeth. I, I think uh, straight from the elephant's corner tonight, we've, we've, they've, yeah, the, the New Orleans has proven that an apple a day is always greener on the other side of the foot. So uh, I'm excited to see them progress in the, in, 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 in the, in the, in the, in the, and, and, uh, and it's wonderful. I appreciate your insight, and I will update my database with that information. You said something under your breath there, I think. Is everything I don't right? have breath to speak under, but... Touche. Uh, fa yeah, fair assessment, though, Hank Dankley. Uh, and with that, I think Hank and I are going to sign off. This is Hank Dankley signing off, and remember, a penny saved is worth two in the bush. One zero 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 one 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 zero. Zero one 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 zero 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 one one zero zero one